Hello again, I am Jim Bob and welcome to the season finale of uh, season one of Challenge Mode here on F1 Manager 22. Uh, we've taken our quite poor Aston Martin with two very, very young rookie drivers all the way through the season. And here we are at the final race of the season, Yas Marina. And uh, what a season it's been. Currently sits seventh in the uh, Constructors Championship. 15 points clear of Haas. Uh, so, uh, unless Magnuson, Magnuson can somehow manage to get a podium, we pretty much got this in the bag, I think. Uh, in terms of uh, developments, we have no more developments for the Grand Prix. Everything is ready to go. Uh, so, we're going to set our objectives and go straight into the final race of the season. And then, once the race is done, we will have a little bit of... Uh, tidying up to do a little bit more research to squeeze in before the end of the calendar year so uh, do stick around for that right let's take a quick look at our performance targets what can we do in the final race uh, I don't think we're gonna make Q3 uh, we'll try and get both cars in the top 15 so that's both into Q2 uh, fastest lap well we might have a go for it at the end just why not yeah we'll see where we stand this is kind of a throw a throwaway race for us really we can't really gain any more positions we can't re well we could theoretically lose seventh but i can't see that happening um so there's not really much at stake for us in this grand prix uh but we'll try and we'll try and finish with a bang if we can we'll see what we can do Yaz Island in Abu Dhabi for the Formula One Grand Prix. The Yaz Marina circuit was completed in 2009 and we've seen a fair share of celebration and commiseration over the years since then. The scenery may be spectacular, but this weekend, all eyes will be on the track. There's a reason why the Yaz Marina circuit is used as a test track. The long straights put engine power through its paces, while the twists and bends make medium speed downforce just as important at this challenging circuit. With the season nearly concluded, time is running out for the team. Can anyone make a last minute breakthrough? Can the leading drivers hold on? Only time will tell. The competition is on. And as always, we have pretty much perfect weather for the race. So uh, normally I like to check and see where we are in terms of where our car performance sits against the rest of the grid. But as I said, this is kind of a throwaway race for us, really. Nothing really is at stake. So uh, it didn't seem much point in, uh, in depressing myself and looking at figures that are just getting lower and lower in relation to the rest of the grid. Um, we'll press on regardless. Uh, evening, Jeremy. Good to see you. How are you doing tonight? Uh, for those of you who are new to the series, uh, where have you been? Uh, uh, welcome, of course. And uh, as I say, this is challenge mode. We do like to make things harder for ourselves by self-imposing some additional rules and regulations, all of which can be found in the video description. So do check those out if you're curious as to what they are. And uh, we also track our progress in terms of what upgrades and research we've applied within those regulations as well. Uh, all of this is going to be reset after this episode, going into the start of the next season next week. And uh, those rules might get tweaked over the weekend uh, as we go into the next season, but will probably stay the same. Right, let's get these cars set up for the final Grand Prix. Uh, we'll go with... Oh, which engine have we got? 78 and 77 oh, they're pretty much the same we'll go with the 77 and uh, we'll go with the 79 we're going to go out with good engines for final practice why not we will switch the uh, ERS units though because again if we have a wreck we don't want to destroy the only good remaining part we've got left uh, and same with gearboxes and we'll just switch out to a slightly worse gearbox there we go. Right, let's take a look at the sliders 
see what their positioning is like. So fairly neutral on that one. Uh, oh, low front wing angle on this one. So um, we'll start with this car. Get my bucket setups. Evening, Mr. Water. Uh, we're going to go with a four on the front wing, a 12.5 on the rear, a 4.6, a 3.4, and a 0.9. And yeah, everything is within the tolerances. It's a relatively straight looking line. But uh, this circuit does throw those up every now and again. Uh, I'm not sure on fuel, but I'm going to go 16 laps, I think. I think that's going to be the right number. We'll go 17 on Freddy just to uh, hedge our bets. And what are we going to do with this car? Uh, we're going to go a little bit in the opposite direction. We're going to go with a 6.5 on the front and a 12 on the rear. Uh, a 2.8. Uh, a 2.9. And a 0.7. And let's see. Oh, no. Cornering is out of tolerance. So that setup is not going to work. So let's uh, readdress that. Let's go to a 5, a 12.5, a 2.8, a 3.5, and a 1. Uh, so, again, kind of getting that straight line-ish down the middle for most of those things there. Uh, we'll see how this one shakes out. Uh, did I do the pace settings for Felipe? Yes, I did. Right, into practice we go. Radio check. Radio check. Okay, it's green now. And as always, for whatever reason, there always seems to be slightly sluggish frame performance on this circuit. You'll notice it, especially around the pit area. We tend to get a lot of uh, little frame stutters. Where the rate dips a little bit. Uh, you'll notice it, especially when uh, the sun comes out. All the sun starts going down in the next session as well. This one is particularly bad for that. Right, let's uh, speed some time up. We had uh, first day of testing uh, today. Uh, Red Bull looking strong. Of course, you can't read anything into preseason testing times. They are notoriously uh, inaccurate. Teams like to run their cars at different fuel loads, different engine specs. You know, might not be in uh, using the full range of parts they might be on completely different types of programs i know mercedes were looking purely at testing reliability uh, for this uh, this session and the next testing session they're going to start you know next week they're going to start looking at testing performance um but yeah red bull looking pretty consistent again slight change to their side pods they've gone for a bit of a more dramatic undercut on their side pods but apart from that the car looks very similar to last year And as, as I say, you can't really read anything into the timing sheets, but it was good to see the, both Williams finished inside the top 10. Albon, the only driver to set times on the soft tyres. Everyone else setting medium tyres. Uh, you know, times on medium tyres, but you know, uh, both Williams made it into the top 10, I think. I think Logan was 10th. Uh, Albon, I think, was 6th. Oh, look at that. We nailed that straight out the gate. That's beautiful. Uh, 16 laps is not enough, so we do need to keep him out. Seventeen laps. Maybe maybe eighteen laps is right for this circuit. Although we are running better quality engines than I would normally, so seventeen laps does I think seem to be the right number. I'll make a note of that for next season. Uh, 
Uh, evening, Farrah. Good to see you. How does it feel? Uh, oh, definitely some work to do with Felipe's car. 77%. That's uh, that's probably the rear wing and the roll bar. So, we don't need to change anything on this one. That is uh, spot on. Uh, you can see this is another circuit that isn't the kindest to soft tyres. I mean, it's not horrendous, but it's not amazing. Uh, we're definitely going to be running medium and hard tyres in the race. Um, but I'm not going to save an extra set, I don't think. Actually, I might do. I might save an extra set of hards this time, so we've got a, a bit more flexibility on strategy. You know, we do sometimes get safety cars here. I don't really want to use up all my softs. I want to try and keep a fresh set for the race as well, again, in case of a safety car. Uh, we'll kind of play that one by ear, I think. Uh, let's have a look at uh, reconfiguring Felipe's car. So, yeah, it is the roll bar and the, uh, the rear wing. That's just what I thought it would be. So let's... Uh, change that I've got a 13 I do have a 13 setup here actually uh, so it's a 4.5 a 13 a 5.5 five, a 3.15 and a 0.6 uh, that doesn't look too far off <coughs> it's the only 5.5 five I've got it's the only 13 that I've got in the book um, but it isn't going to work there's not enough change, so I am going to have to make some tweaks. I drop it to a four on the front wing. I'm going to change the toe. Pull that back a little bit. And we're going to go with that. We're going to see how that shakes out. Well, there goes Freddy on his uh, second run. This is one of those circuits where it's notoriously hard to actually get a lot of really good racing. Yeah, it's hard to make up a lot of positions on this circuit. If you don't have the power, then you end up just nowhere in this race. So, I'm not expecting great things here. Uh, I don't think it'll be as quite as catastrophically bad um, as it was in Brazil, unless we do something stupid again, like we did in Brazil. But performance-wise, yeah, it's going to be on a par with Brazil in terms of our kind of pace, I think. We're going to be knocking on the door of the points, but I don't think we're going to be uh, challenging for anything higher than ninth and 10th at, at best. Car in the wall. Ruby. Yellow flag. Ruby. So Let's Schumacher's been it. There. Right, watch this. There's Schumacher. Oh, on the final turn as well. They've lost control, and there's the crash. Oh, that's a lockup for Freddy. He's kept it out of the barriers and out of other cars as well. That's good. Like oh, I didn't up the, the amount of fuel in Felipe's car. I have to keep an eye out for that. Make sure he doesn't box too early. Uh, 85, so big improvement, but uh, still some work to do. I 
I was gutted when I saw that news about uh, about Motti. Uh, I was, you know, just checking my phone and I saw that story pop up, and I'm like, oh no, no, Motti's just a, le- you know, a legend. So sad, but at least he went peacefully in his sleep. You know, you know, it's not a bad way to go. One of the many voices of my childhood. Uh, Hamilton, Joe, Norris and Latifi all taking penalties this weekend. I say childhood. It was actually a big chunk of my life actually. Not just my childhood, but my teens, my twenties, my thirties. Evening, Colin. Um, yeah, just uh, <laughs> a little sad, just uh, reminiscing. Uh, let's uh, crack on with practice two. Uh, so what am I going to do tire-wise for this session? Uh, I'm going to go out on the uh, mediums for this session. So I still haven't made my mind up what I want to do about tires. Uh, so we know it's 17 laps. So we want to go... Let's go 25 for a single run. And we'll do the same for Felipe. five laps there we go uh, we changed this setup I'm not sure if I've gone the right way but we'll see how it shakes out uh, let's go to practice when Murray passed. I think part of the reason I fell in love with Formula One was Motti's infectious enthusiasm. Not Motti, sorry, uh, Murray. Uh, Murray's infectious enthusiasm and uh, how he would just make stupid little mistakes in his commentary as well. Murray, Murrayisms as they were called. Very sad day that was. His errors made us love him more. Yes, absolutely they did. Oh, we've had a spin. Well, I think one of my all-time favourites, the car uh, the car behind is... Uh, no, the car in front is unique, <laughs> except for the one behind, which is identical. <laughs> Just silly little comments like that, you know. Unless I'm very much mistaken. I am very much mistaken. <laughs> it's one of my all-time favourite Murray quotes. All right, we've got a Ferrari smashing up Let's take a look uh, with, with Schumacher. Is that okay, Sainz again? Car. Don't tell me Sainz is taking that Schumacher again. It is Sainz again. Sainz has got it in for Schumacher. The <laughs> oh, there's chaos on the track. 
He did that to him in Mexico. I just punted him into oblivion. And he's done it again here. And both times, Schumacher's retired and Sainz has carried on. There's some unknown heat going on between those two drivers that <laughs> needs to be found out. Right, have we got this set up right? Or have we got it wrong? We're about to find out. We've just had a spin. Oh, go on, Farrah. We can take a look now. Now watch this. Lewis Hamilton involved in this one. What a spin out. I think he saw science in his rear view mirror and thought, no, I'm getting out of the way quick. <laughs> oh, the team are devastating. I saw what he did to Schumacher. <laughs> uh, 87%. We have improved a little bit, but not much. More to do. And now we've got the Ferrari right behind us. McLaren. I thought that was a Ferrari right behind us. I'm like, no, oh, we need to spin out now. It probably wasn't science on the track. It was probably Leclerc, but... I like to go with the idea that it was science. Almost done with the runs, just a couple more laps. That sounds quite bad actually, almost done with the runs. <laughs> sounds like I'm stuck in the can. Right, where did we go wrong? Oh, okay, we've, uh, we've messed that up quite a bit. So we need to put that back. Uh, breaking stability is going the wrong way so that needs to go that way traction needs to change so that needs to be a 6-4 but I need to pull it back a bit a bit too much on the traction uh, yes try that kind of at a loss here on where to go with setup on this car this is another track where I always seem to struggle to find the right the right balance uh, I'm gonna send it back out just to get a head start on the next session doesn't matter about putting mileage on the units you know they're getting swapped out for the best that we've got for the race they haven't got to do anything else after this Grand Prix so let's Perez has been lit in the final corner so let's look at this there's Sergio Perez that corner catching a couple of drivers out and there we see the crash There we see everything but the crash. Now there's another crash. Ooh, excuse me. 
wide there. Here's the replay. Now here we see Max Verstappen. Well, I don't know what they were thinking there. They're completely off the racing line. Well, that's not the crash. There's contact. That's the crash. Chaos on the track. Let's have a look. Oh, it is Verstappen. Now here we see Max Verstappen. So this is right after he went offline, and then he T-bones the Williams. I think that was Latifi he took out, wasn't it? Yeah, Latifi's missing half his wing. And it was Latifi he got uh, tagged that time. Yeah, I didn't realise there was a state of play tonight. Um, I normally watch those, but... Uh, Anything good apart from Resi 4? But what was mentioned in there? Was there anything about um, uh, Aliens Dark Descent in there at all by any chance? Desperate for more news about that game. I haven't heard anything since they announced it last year. That was back at Gamescon, I think. Ah, that's a shame. I didn't think there would be, but, you know, I thought I'd ask on the off chance. Um, so, Max has now got himself a penalty. Sainz has got himself a penalty. Um, so, the list is growing. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the progress, or lack of, that we made with Felipe's car. Oh, okay, so we've got the front wing back. We're not far off on traction. That, to me, suggests we've got to go in a bit more. But that's going to affect my cornering. How am I going to get that where I need it to? I don't know where the braking stability is on this. That's going the wrong way. I've got to go that way, which means I've got to pull that in to about there and hope that doesn't break anything else. I wish I knew where we stood with the braking stability. Uh, I'm going to... Can, oh, I can't cancel those changes, can I? Um, let's put it back as best I can the way it was. Um, so we had that there. That was there. I don't think anything else has changed, has it? I think that's what we were running. I would revert back, but... No, because I've now I've, I've tweaked it. It's broken the confidence that we had, so I'm going to have to... Or has it? Yeah, it has. It's broken the confidence. So we're going to have to uh, make the change and just see what happens. Um, so what was it? We need to bring that in. We need to bring that back. I don't think I can get away with doing that. Unless I can do that. And then yeah, that's too much. See, that to me suggests I need this to be about here, but... I know it doesn't need to be there. Like I said, this is this is a circuit where I always struggle to get um, perfect setups. That's why whenever I get one, it goes in the book. Let me see if I've got anything that actually matches up to this. Um, what is the closest I've got? I don't have anything with a 6.4. Um, my 5.5. Five. I don't think the 5.5 five is going to fit. Yeah, I can't. I can't make the five-five fit. It has to be a six-four. Um, I 
I'm going to try and figure out how to undo the mess I've just made here now. Um, oh, what the hell did I do? Was it that? Was that where it was? I can't figure this one out now. Where, where the hell was everything? to revert back to this setup we know where some of the good stuff is so let's try and rework this um, can I go from this and convert this oh, that's going the wrong way cornering needs to be there that was good and then we don't know where it was after that so I would think somewhere around there. That's got to be a 6-4. Uh, front wing has to go up. But then I have to pull this back. And it's got to go that way. And now I've got to bring this back in. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I really I can't see it. I just cannot see how I'm going to max this setup up. That's essentially what we were running. And I can't for the life of me figure out how to pull this back to where it needs to be. That's that I think is not really gonna do anything. Uh, oh, this is infuriating. This is absolutely infuriating trying to figure this one out. I can try. Let's see how that works. Uh, I am going to go with soft. I'm going to keep an extra set of hard tyres for the Grand Prix. So let's see if we can squeeze uh, 20 laps out of those softs. That should be enough to get across the line for the half hours running. Uh, we'll do the same with Freddy. We'll go 20 laps. Actually, that's not going to be enough for Freddy. We'll go 24 laps for Freddy. Pace options for both done. Right, into the final, final practice of the season. Do I need a check? Do I need a check? Green light, green light. drama in the final session please let's uh, bring it home nice and comfortably and let's get a rough idea of what kind of pace we've got need to protect these uh, components anymore. Oh, it's almost crashed. We've got a Ferrari right on us. That worries me. <laughs> We've had a crash. Let's see what happened there. Now we see Valtteri Bottas. Oh, it's that last corner again, look. Oh, a nasty crash there. 
Which Ferrari is that? Is that Leclerc? Please be Leclerc. Well, whichever one it was, I'm not entirely certain. I can't quite see the number before it flashes away. No, it's Sainz. Oh, we, we survived. <laughs> we survived an encounter with Carlos. So Vesti, about 16th, it's about a little bit slower than I thought he'd be. Drogovic around 10th, that's kind of where I expected him to be. Nine. Again, we've only gained 2%. What is... I can't figure this car out. And one last look at it. Braking stability is now going the wrong way, so that means that's got to come in. To about here. Which means... That actually is going to give me what I needed to move the traction. I just hope that doesn't break the front wing too much now. Right, this is my last throw of the nice. Can I nail this setup at last? It's going in the book if I can. Because this one's been a very stubborn one. Freddy's tyres just about making the half hour mark. But his pace, a little disappointing. Hopefully he's gonna be a bit quicker in the race. He'll have, oh no, don't, don't, don't hit the barrier. Oh, good lad, kept it out the wall. And that's a lock up. Sounds like we've had a spin. Given Sainz's recent form, I wouldn't want to be uh, alongside him on the front row. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be the staff. <laughs> That's how it's going to qualify. Evening, Packins. Uh, shame you can't stick around. No. What would it be in the uh, end of the season? But yeah, you know, you'll get to watch it back when when you get some time, I suppose. Good to see you. I uh, hope you can stick around for a little bit longer. No. We can take a look now. Kept it out the barrier again. Here. This was the Aston Martin. Just. Uh, 93% confidence. It's still not there. How is that not... Uh, I, I just do not get the braking stability on this car. I really don't.
All right, that's it. That's the final change. And uh, we'll see how that runs in quality. And that's it. That's uh, practice done for the rest of the season. That's a spin! Let's take a look at the replay. Watch this. There's Leclerc. Good session. Right, uh, let's swap out these parts, put the good stuff in, oh, the goodish stuff. Um, you know what, this is, this is a nothing race, we've got all that money to spend, shall we just start from the back, brand new everything, with both drivers and see what they can do? What do you guys reckon? Or should we actually see just how high we can qualify? before we make that decision. Well, while you guys are thinking about that, I will put good stuff in just to qualify and then let me know whether or not you want me to uh, take penalties once quality's done. We got pretty much brand new stuff with uh, Felipe already. So if we do take penalties, it would actually be going to be with Freddy. Uh, and he's probably going to be starting near the back anyway. So we might need to do that. Um, yeah, big difference in performance. Radio check, radio check. If we take penalties with Freddy, it will put him at the back of the grid. But he's going to probably only be starting around 15th anyway, so might be worth it for him. Uh, Felipe, we've actually still got brand new parts from the last race uh, where we took penalties at Brazil. So, yeah, we won't take any for him. It's kind of a waste. His engine parts are all still pretty much new. Hoping that's going to be enough to get us through this session. We don't have a lot in the way of tyres to play about with here. Just uh, keep the same tyres on if we do need to go out again.
Uh, science is going to jump us. Uh, I don't know about Schumacher. I don't know about Ricardo. Sonoda might improve. Oh, it's too late to go out now. I, was, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the clock. I wasn't going to send Drogovic back out, but now I can't send Freddy back out either. So we're stuck at wherever we finish. Can Vesti hang on? Yes, he can. Ooh, interesting. Uh, so we'll do a scrub run. Oh, we got to 97% with that setup in the end. Not quite there, but close. Another day we'll figure that one out. I see a Ferrari coming out. Where it gets in the way on the corner. So that's compromised Freddy's lap a little bit. gap between our two drivers is actually not too bad on this circuit. Freddy's looking pretty handy through that middle sector. Less than three tenths between them and he has got an engine that's like 20% worse. So that's pretty good. It's not going to be two tenths worse, but you know, he's, he'll probably get him, you know, get that down by a tenth, giving him a new engine, maybe a little bit more. It's encouraging to see uh, Vesti's pace improving a little bit. some miracle managed to squeeze into the top 10. Felipe's got a chance, you know. He's definitely got a chance. Let's give, because uh, Vesti's going to probably end up taking that penalty. But let's um, let's see if we can give Felipe a toe. See if that helps him. He 
might not be close enough. Oh, excuse me. All right, can we actually make the top ten? It's it's going to be very close with Gasly. I think we've just got the legs on Ricardo, but you never know. Magnussen, we should have the legs on. seeing uh, what looks like an attempted slipstream for the McLarens. Ricardo giving Norris a toe. But is the dirty air performance of that McLaren not strong enough for that? Is that actually going to hinder Norris? Gasly has improved. about Ricardo. Ricardo does not improve enough. Norris does though. Here comes Vesti. Big improvement for Vesti. Felipe does not improve enough. Vesti's actually quicker. Okay, so 12th and 13th. I don't know if I want to start Vesti all the way back at the grid if he's got that kind of pace. But a new engine might be useful. Let's uh, have a look at the grid. Uh, so, uh, we're going to be racing against Ricardo. His engine's at 78. Norris, 46. So the slipstream went wonders for him. Uh, who else are we going to be racing against? Uh, Magnussen, he's at 56. Schumacher, we don't know, he didn't run. Uh, Gasly is running at 61. Bottas is at 77. You can only look at the top 10. Or top 15. Uh, ooh, 37 for Hamilton. 32 for Russell. It's going to be a rough weekend for those guys. Perez at 78, Verstappen 61, uh, the Ferrari 68 and 85. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to get enough of an extra bit of performance out of the car to justify dropping him back eight places. Oh, and there's penalties in front of us as well, so we're going to gain. We're going to get both drivers in the top 10. So, yeah, we're, we're not going to take penalties. If we're going to start that high up, there's no point. We'll try and hold position. Welcome to race day. And before we get down to it, last minute checks are being made. Aston Martin performed well during the qualifying session and they're rewarded with a good grid position for the race. Alpha Tauri's qualifying results were in line with the targets set out for the team. They certainly have the potential to achieve a good result here today. And the sun is shining bright here today. This is perfect weather for teams and drivers alike to show us what they're capable of. And teams will have to make tough split-second decisions here if they're going to succeed. An exhilarating race lies ahead of us with the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So, where are we actually starting? 11th and 12th. Oh, so we've gained one position. Okay, it's still good though. I still don't really want to drop all the way back to the grid. Don't want to lose nine places for Freddy. Uh, so, uh, the one stop is doable, but not really viable. The two stop is definitely the way to go. Uh, and I'm going to start us on the hards for this race. And we have two sets. I wonder, can I get a hard, hard, soft? Could I make that work? I don't know if the hards have got enough pace to make that a viable... Yeah. Alright, so let's go hard, medium, medium.
There we go. That's going to be our starting strategy for both cars. So we want to go lap 24. Uh, and then... Yep, lap 41, that's about right. Uh, we are going to take fuel out. So we're going to go one lap out. And let's... Let's see how we do as we go racing one last time in this season. It looks like clear skies tonight with the drivers now in their grid positions. Taking a look at the Aston Martin, with their starting position in the back 10, they'll have their work cut out for them. There's the second Aston Martin. Slower than most yesterday, so today they'll be starting from the bottom half of the grid. Will their hard work pay off today? Anything could happen. It's the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Oh, we never looked at the top 10 and qualifying, did we? Is that Leclerc on pole? It is. Go. Perez second. Russell's up in third, despite having that knackered engine. The McLaren, uh, Mercedes always seem to go quite well at this circuit. See what everyone else is doing tyre wise. Uh, Ocon is starting on softs. A few behind us starting on softs, so we're going to be vulnerable in these opening laps. We can hold position, maybe even sneak one, and that'll be mission accomplished. So, us running side by side like this is actually a good thing. We're kind of controlling everything behind us. question is can we hang on to the back of Gasly given the compound difference it might be a tall order we might have to use battery just to get us to a DRS and which of my two drivers is actually faster here on paper you would think it would be Felipe but last year I qualified him Gasly is isolated from sights. So hopefully we can hang with him. Close that gap up a little. We're not breaking away from these cars behind us, not when we're on hards and they're on softs. That's not what we're trying to do, we're just trying to make sure we stay with Gasly. away from Magnuson a little bit but that's because we're using battery I think when we turn that off we will lose that uh, that gap very quickly DRS is enabled DRS is enabled
be shaping up for our first overtake. Let's have a look at the inside. It's going to get them under braking. Oh, slots it through. Very nice. Can we hold the position? This is where the uh, extra grip of those mediums is going to come into, into play. Still side by side. That's a position gained for Alpha Towering. And in the end, we just had to give it up. Felipe is definitely looking a bit racy. Maybe just trying to lay to rest the ghosts of, uh, of Brazil last night. Gasly covering the inside this time. Tire wear is not that significant a difference between the compounds yet. I mean, softs are wearing out fast, but not that much difference between the uh, hards and the mediums. Have you seen, um, I know you've been playing catch up, have you seen Singapore yet? Just pootling around here in uh, 11th and 12th right now. That's is uh, that's, that's okay. We haven't gained any positions, but we haven't lost any. We're holding back the cars with soft tyres quite nicely. We're hanging on to Gasly quite nicely as well. So our tyres should switch over and be better than Gasly's in 10 laps maybe a little less oh here's a lunge and I think we get the DRS yes we do so we should complete this move Counting back, Patkins, uh, before this was Mexico, 
no sorry before this was Brazil then before that was Mexico then Kota then Suzuka then Singapore Alright, so now we control the queue. Uh, just going to leave it for a lap. I don't want to push just yet. I want to see what our pace is in clean air. See if we can hunt down Hamilton without the need to burn the battery. Oh, someone's locked up. That's someone in front of us, I think. Oh no, it's behind us. It's one of the Alphas. It's Joe. Car in the wall. Here's the replay. Let's take another look. There we have Joe. Clearly something oh, went that's bad for him, but there. that does that does now mean that if his car hits the barrier again, that's probably gonna total the suspension or the chassis, or both. Because it'll have taken some damage from that hit. So if he does that again, he'll retire and that will be a VSC, maybe a full safety. We are just a little bit slower than Hamilton. That might be because of defensive driving. Still a lot to play for. We should be able to ride this out alongside Gasly and uh, have the inside line for the final Keep turn. Aston Martin with a great play there. Up a so let's uh, let's give him a little nudge. Used energy. Let's see if we can chase Robin. after Hamilton. Maybe give Freddie an opportunity to have a run at Gasly as well. This is a circuit where it is very hard to pull back battery. Joe Pitts getting the new front wing. Yep, there he goes, new front wing attached. And has he gone hard? Yes, he has. So that's Yuki's after, uh, not Yuki, <laughs> used to be Yuki, making those mistakes all the time. Uh, that is uh, Joe's afternoon ruined. Gained about half a second on Hamilton, and we've almost managed to gap Gasly. I think he might just have a little bit of a grip advantage through this sweeper. Uh, we might just have broken him. I think we did. I think we just broke him. That'll give Vesti a run. I oh know, he just has his flap open. Look, he just managed to sneak in somehow. Maybe we can break him on this one. Nope. And we are pretty much out of battery now. Shame we almost managed to break Gasly. Maybe with Vesti all over the back of him, that will help slow Gasly down. 
Fingers crossed. We've got the gap now to about two seconds, but we can't push any harder. So that gap might start to go back up again. Let's see, is Hamilton on mediums? Yes, he is. And now we're starting to see a bit of a gap in the tyre performance. As Magnussen has been passed by Ricardo. Getting okay, Gasly right on the edge of DRS. I think he made it again. Yes, he did. So use energy. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we don't have the pace yet to go after Hamilton. It's too much for tyre advantage for that uh, Mercedes. The gap might start to come back down again in a few laps time. As the gap between the hards and the mediums gets a little bit bigger. But for now, we can't do anything about it. Use energy if you need. Just no way through. We just need to charge up. Okay. Ricardo is right on us, so we're going to have to be wary of him. As we try and get uh, a bit more battery back into Vesti. Still some life in those softs. Yeah, so fortunately we couldn't get onto the back of Hamilton. Um, I think if we got onto the back of him, we could have stayed with him. But without being in his DRS, we're just losing too much time. We've got the gap down to two seconds. It's almost back up to three again. And I can't have another go at him because I've got nothing to push with. Gasly does make a move, that might not be a bad thing. If he leaps, leapfrogs after, we can then start charging Felipe again.
Oh, we lost the DRS. Oh, we got a safety car. Ooh, now that makes things interesting. Safe. No DRS. All the soft guys are going to come in. Is there anything we can do strategy-wise? Uh, I could. So I've got two options. The first option is to box now. Put on some mediums. And then go hard for the final stint. And do something like that. second option is to go the other way around. And finish strong on mediums. Hmm. I think I'll split them. I think I'll get Freddy doing that and I'll get Felipe doing the opposite. This is why I wanted to save that extra set of hard tyres for the race in case we had a safety car come out at a point like that. Uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go with this and then that gives us options. If we get a late safety car, then... Uh, we can bring both drivers in for softs. If we get a safety car somewhere around lap 40 to 45, I can look at bringing Felipe in for a set of mediums uh, instead of softs. Something that will last a bit longer. So let's go ahead and actually remember this time to tell our drivers to box. Uh, so Freddy, we want to box him onto a set of hards. And Felipe, we want to box him onto a set of mediums. Uh, and the reason I'm going mediums with Felipe is to give him a better chance of staying with the cars in front. Because uh, all the cars behind us, uh, we're looking at Ricardo, Magnussen, Schumacher, Sonoda, Latifi, Ocon. I can see most, if not all, of those guys pitting. I don't think the mediums will pit. Who crashed? Snowda. So Yuki's done a Yuki. <laughs> There's been a crash. Sounds like a single car. Let's take a closer look. Now look Completely at clean air. No one around him. And just overcooked it straight into the wall. They've lost control, and there's the crash. No! And that was a So both drivers coming in. No one in front has pit yet. Let's see, is Ocon going to pit? Yes, Ocon's in. I knew he was going to pit at 44%. Alright. So, what about the cars behind us? Ricardo is pitting. And Magnussen, and Schumacher, and Latifi. Latifi's away off the pit box yet. But yeah, all the guys I thought were going to pit are pitting. So we've made absolutely the right call here. Need a good stop. Ah, oh, we got held. We'll get held by the Haas cars coming in. Okay, Vesti has lost out to Magnussen and to Ricardo. But he's on hard tyres. Uh, as I think are going to be the cars that also pitted. Yeah, Ricardo went hard, Magnussen went hard, I'm sure Schumacher and Latifi will do that as well. Ocon also went hard, so Felipe is going to be right behind Ocon. We should be able to get past him quickly, hopefully, and then we get to attack all those cars in front. All the way up to Leclerc, believe it or not. Uh, with significantly fresher tyres. 
this could be huge for Felipe. He needs to break away though. Can't bring anyone with him. And he needs a full battery. Hopefully we get, well, we're going to get one more lap, I think. Hopefully we can get enough time to actually get the car fully charged, but I don't think we will. I mean, his battery was empty when that safety car came out, so. I'm expecting the car in at the end of this lap. Can we finish this season with a bang? Or will it end up being a bit of a whimper? I really hope it's the former. A really meaty points finish in the final race would be a, a huge morale boost going into the winter. about 70% battery at the end of the lap. Safety car it's not ideal, but it's not horrendous. Okay. I want to try and break away from Ocon before the DRS kicks back in, if I can. No saving required. If you need it. Yeah, I love it. It's an interesting decision to go to the very, very outside there. It's not worked. Please follow walk on through on this move on Norris. He's not even going to make the move on Norris, is he? I see it. No, I'm just killing his battery here. That's not good.
uh, Sainz is probably going to be the first. Sainz and Bottas will be the first, I think, of their cars to pit. Ocon really making the most of his tyres right now. Use energy. That's not enough. Come on, I need to force this move. There we go. You're in a good place. Ooh, you got a flag. Cast and Martin have just gained a race position. Who had a whoopsie? Oh, they've locked up and gone. It's just happened. Let's see what happened there. We're just watching the Red Bull. And yes, that's the lockdown. And the team had such high hopes today. And because of the safety car, that's going to drop him almost all the way to the back of the grid. He gets going in 16th. No, he is last. He's 19th. DRS is enabled. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. So use energy if you need it. Copy. Ocon's going to dive to the inside. Vesti all over the back of Magnussen. Couldn't quite find a way through. Magnussen has been dropped and the McLarens are fighting each other, so this is the ideal time to get past Magnussen. Gasly really struggling on his tyres right now. So Vesti's through. Okay, copy. Oh, God damn it. Oh, oh, oh. Go on. Force it through, force it through. Losing too much time here. Good job, keep pushing. Vesti jumps Norris. Can I get Ricardo as well? That would be something.
We just need to charge up. Yeah, I'm Loses so much time behind uh, Gasly here. I'm just got to go for it here. Use energy if you need it, use energy. Okay, copy. Damn it, now Gasly's gonna get DRS on us. Can we hold him? Yes, we can. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. And there we go, Sainz and Hamilton both into the pits. And there we go, we've just pulled out a gap to Gasly of a second. Excellent stuff. So now we need to get Freddy past Norris. Highly suspect manoeuvre from Norris there. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Well, at least I've got a gap to Ricardo, and uh, we're flying up to the back of Bottas right now. Perez pits. I wonder if some of these guys are going to go for a one-stop, you know. They'd have to do 36 laps on those tyres, but 36, 37 laps is doable. But tyres aren't going to be great at the end. sit behind Gasly for another lap. We just need to get some more battery in Vesti's car. Need to charge up Freddy as well. Uh, sorry, Felipe as well. We're almost on the back of Bottas. Who's hanging on to Alonso. Uh, sorry, to Ocon as Alonso pits. Now Bottas pits. There goes my chance of uh, charging the DRS. Have we got the pace? Catch Arcon. 2.2 seconds to gap. We are pulling away from Ricardo. And uh, Gasly is pitted as well, so let's go back into neutral. Let's go to deploy up. I'd rather have no battery and be clear of Magnuson and Schumacher. Then have some battery and bring them Use along with me. I 
and Verstappen having been last gained a couple of places and is now almost last again thanks to uh, pitting So another terrible weekend for Verstappen. Just breaks my pee picking little heart. <laughs> All right, we've broken away from the Haas cars. Leclerc finally pits. Can he make a one stop work? We're in P2 right now. We're not gaining on Ocon. We're not horribly you know, far off him. And we are closing on Ricardo with Vesti. Who does look to? Oh no, Vesti was the uh, was uh, using battery, wasn't he? So that's not a genuine lap time. I know it's not going to happen, but can you imagine if we could actually win the final race of the season? Oh my god, that would be incredible. In fact, how are points looking as things stand right now? We would actually get sixth if things were to stay as they are right now. We would jump Alpha Tauri. Oh, Verstappen spun. We're just watching the Red Bull. A bad afternoon goes from bad to worse. Oh, you got dear, spooked by dear, Yuki. Oh the car's just gone. And that's the second really incident on that corner for him. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly. Right, we don't have the pace to catch Ock on. I think tyres are now going to become a factor in that. As long as we can keep pulling away from Ricardo, which we are barely doing. I think Vesti, of the two drivers, Vesti is probably a little better positioned right now. Because he still has mediums to come. I'm kind of hoping Felipe would be a little bit faster than this. Still, we'll have the chance to undercut all those um, hard cars by coming in earlier than they will. slower than Ricardo. Let's see if we can close that gap. So use energy if you need it. 
Yeah, you can stop lifting coast. Copy. Just need to get close enough just to get a sniff of a toe. And then we should start closing them up. I don't really want to push the tyres. This isn't a circuit where you get a lot of tyre leeway. It's a bit like France in that respect. You push them too hard too soon, then you just destroy your stint. You can use energy. Let's burn the entire battery in the first part of the lap. See if we can slingshot ourselves up into his slipstream. One more time, we might just get onto the back of him. And that will help slow him down in his chase of Dro uh, Drogovic as well, if he's having to go defensive. And this is the downside to burning all your battery at the start of the lap, is you have nothing for the end of the lap. Come on, Freddy, do me proud. You're almost there, almost there. I just need to stay at this distance and that gives me a chance happy to push Perez fighting his way through. So use energy. Yeah, copy. This is my last real chance. I can't push the tyres and fuel any harder than this. This is as hard as I can go. We make it. Drop back a bit. Yeah, copy. Ah, I should have kept pushing. All okay on fuel, so you can do what you want for speed. Damn it. Okay, well we're closer this yeah, lap. Copy. Perez is storming up to the back of us here.
Perez is going to catch us before we catch Ricardo. Use energy if you need it, use energy. I hate not having any battery. Are we close enough? I don't think we are. No, we're not. And we're out of battery. Need to charge up. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to let Perez go. That car is just so much faster than we are. But if we can hang on to the back of him, he can pull us onto Ricardo. Got to make sure I don't get mugged by sights in the process, or Leclerc in the process. just swoops around the outside of us. Look at that traction. It's not horrible. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. At least we're in a position now where we can charge. Uh, Perez has already caught the back of Ricardo. And is swooping past him. We've been able to get some battery back in the car. Now we've got something to use on the end of the lap. Staying with Leclerc, I don't think. Oh, are we? We might be. No, we didn't get the DRS. But we might get it here. No, we're too far off. Again. Alright, there's no point fighting the Ferrari. Stop for Felipe. Not sure where we're going to feed out. We need this undercut to work.
And we're going to come out in 14th behind Alonso. Alright, come on, Sainz, get past me. There you go. Now I can get DRS off you on the next straight. Let's see, can I stay with it? Let's make sure we stay with him. Use energy if you need. Because he's going to be on Ricardo in a couple of corners. with battery look we're still losing time on the straight to sides it's just so much faster I just don't think we've got enough tyres left to fight. I think I've burnt them too hard. Ah, that's so frustrating. I thought we could actually get onto the back of Ricardo with the traffic coming through, but it just hasn't happened. We are closing in on Alonso. We are going to the end. Ocon will be pitting again, as will Ricardo, Schumacher, Magnussen, Joe, Latifi, and obviously Vesti. Beyond that, I think everyone else is possibly one-stopping or might go softs at the end. Maybe. I think the one stop is probably a bit more likely than them going onto a soft tyre at the end. Alright, we were one second faster than Alonso last lap. And we're back in the situation where we are chasing Ricardo, who is one and a half seconds ahead of us, and we just don't have enough in us to, to close that gap. When's his pit stop scheduled? Lap 40. I might bring him in lap 39. Uh, Leclerc overtakes Perez for second. And Paris takes it straight back. What a bit of a fight looming between these two as they bear down on Ocon. Sainz just a few seconds further back. How is this going to affect the constructors? Ferrari will win the constructors if it stays as it is because Ricard, uh, because Verstappen is just not scoring points. Um, we will not <laughs> gain on AlphaTauri as things currently stand. Or well, not by enough. But that's because uh, Drogovic is down in 14th. But does not need to stop again.
whereas most of the cars in front do or are going to be slow. Uh, Djokovic now only two seconds behind that little cluster of cars in front. That's uh, Bottas, Joe, Alonso, Hamilton's only two seconds further at the road, and then Russell, Magnussen, Schumacher, all in the group. We could gain quite a few positions quite quickly here if we can cut through the traffic. And that's a big if. Oh, someone spun out. It says sector three, but that means nothing in this game. <laughs> Sounds like a spin. That's Latifi. Yeah, that's nothing. It doesn't help us at all. Oh, wow. They're going, trying to go three wide into that hairpin there. Well, that's chicane. That is brave and very risky. Ah, full battery again at last. What can we do with it? Let's use some overtake through here. See if we can jump one of these guys. Overtake. Okay. All right, this is the crucial corner. Somehow they both managed to get DRS off each other. I don't know how. And that meant we didn't get to go anywhere, which means we just wasted some battery for no real reason. Ah, that's annoying. Alright, a little bit more battery in Vesti's car. We're going to box him. Come on, give me a run on these guys. At least one of them. That's Alonso. Let's 
and we absolutely fly past Joe. This is good. Good job. Now we can start hunting down Bottas. Aston Martin with a great play there. Oh, they damn it, Ricardo's boxing this lap as well. I was hoping to undercut Copy him by a lap or two. Ah, oh, that stinks. And uh, Schumacher's pitting. That's one less car for Drogovic to have to worry about. He's already got the gap to Bottas down to just a second. Oh, wow. Russell's holding up everybody here. Gasly, of course we're back behind Gasly. <laughs> Whoa, closed up massively in the braking there. Energy. I don't have the DRS pace to get past Bottas when he's got DRS as well. Ock on pits. I don't think we're going to be able to uh, get past Ock on, unfortunately, with an undercut. We've uh, lost a bit too much time in traffic. Magnuson pits, that's one more car out of the way. Ocon is exiting the pits now. He's going to come out somewhere around us. It's going to be close. It's going to be, yeah, he's going to get out just in front of this little train. Gasly. Need to clear him now. There we go. This train, it's so hard to overtake you. And Joe Pitts, one less car for Vesti to worry about. Side there. Right, get Botta. No, yellow flag made us back out. Oh, it's a safety car. Oh, safety car. keep the delta positive. Okay. That makes things a bit more interesting. So, um, I 
we've just box ready so he does not need to come in but I've got that brand new set of mediums for Felipe I could go soft but they will fall away so quickly mediums would be the better choice quite a few positions if we do pit it's worth it I think to get brand new tyres uh, let's see who in front Hamilton's going to pit Russell's going to pit Bottas is going to pit uh, next time around we might see Perez pit and, and maybe even Leclerc Alonso behind is going to pit, Verstappen's going to pit, Norris is going to pit, Gasly's going to pit. Yeah, I think we go for it. I think we go for the mediums. Um, Vesti is going to hold position. Car in the wall. Yeah, perfect. Who was it who crashed? Oh, it's Schumacher. Uh, yeah, Schumacher's out. Let's have a look. Now, just focus on the Haas. Dear me! Oh, just went straight that. in like a fucking torpedo. Yeah, see a whole flurry of cars pitting. Yeah, copy. This is going to work out beautifully for Vesti, who's just pitted. Don't get held, don't get held, don't get held. Uh, at least we managed to jump Bottas. But we lost out to Alonso. Can I get out before Magnussen? Yes. That was important because Magnussen has already pitted. They're all going soft. Ah, interesting. They're going to be very quick for the first few laps and then their tyres are going to fall away very quickly. This puts us in a really strong place, I think. Vesti's ninth with tyres that are considerably better than Norris, who may well just pit and get out of the way anyway. We've got tyres comparable to Ricardo, we'll be right behind him. We could see Verstappen and Russell diving into the pits. We could see Leclerc and Perez diving into the pits. There goes Perez. Leclerc stays out. Is Leclerc going for the one stop? He's gonna be, he's gonna be a sitting duck for Sainz. And probably Ocon. Now if Russell and Verstappen pit and Norris, that's gonna be huge for us. Perez might make it out in head of science. I think he will. Perez actually gets out the head of science. So yeah, Leclerc's in real trouble. Leclerc has to pit. And now he's behind the safety car, so he's going slow. Leclerc's just lost this race. Russell and Verstappen have stayed out. Which means that they are now going to be, potentially, well, Russell at the very least is going to be an easy target. Verstappen's still got a mighty fast car. It's going to be an intriguing final 10 laps, 15 laps. How many laps we've got left? We're going to have uh, 16 more laps after this lap. And we've got lap traffic, so I don't think the safety car's coming in this lap. We should, we should get a, a lapped car. Do we have any lapped cars, actually? No, we don't. We don't have any lapped cars.
Oh, safety cars coming in this lap. Safety oh, are we going to see Leclerc, Russell and Verstappen and Norris and Gasly have to pit under normal racing conditions? That's going to drop into the back. Oh, this is going to be an exciting last 16 laps. And we are well placed. Happy to push. Again, we couldn't get full battery into Felipe's car, but we got new tyres on him. And when we restart overtaking, we'll be from the control line. Love you. Pick up the pace a bit. All right, here we go. Here we go. So use energy if you need it. Okay, making a move and just about gets it done that's Norris now time to go after Ricardo let's uh, Looks just like ease off on the battery for now hopefully you'll get to hear my falsetto <laughs> maybe Can't roll anything out. I don't know which car to focus on. I think I'll just leave uh, Felipe here for now. He's chasing down guys on softs. So we'll just leave him there and we'll concentrate on Vesti for now. Use energy, you can use energy. Okay, copy. Go on, have a lunge up the inside. Go on, stick it in. Ah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's it. Aston Martin with a great play there. Oh, go on. Up the inside. Up the inside of Verstappen. Go on. Go on. Oh, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Now hold the position. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. DRS enabled. Vesti having the race of his career so far. And Felipe is struggling because the guys on soft are not getting past Gasly. Hamilton is the problem. Hamilton's engine is toast. Vesti's up. Here's the replay. So this was the Aston Martin. Oh, that's not the best place to make the overtake. And they get past. Which moves them Actually, up that's not too bad because we get the whole straight to open up a gap for that the next DRS zone. Alright, 
did we just get Alonso? Yes, we did. Excellent, excellent. Now, now can we get Hamilton here? Come on. Gotta get past Gas. Gasly's been a thorn in my side all race. <laughs> Uh, Vesti fighting off uh, the snapping. Ricardo's got through on Russell as well. We'll just leave him pookling around like that. Let's cut back to Felipe. I've got to get past Gasly here. Damn, they killed my battery again. Oh, 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 big, big crash, big crash. No DRS. That was, Ham that was, uh, that was Hamilton. I can hear Farah cheering from here. I think that was a crash. Let's take a closer look. Now watch this. Lewis Hamilton involved in this one. Oh, big, big crash here. No, that's going to be a big blow to the team. Will they be able to recover? We'll see. All right, so we get the chance to go again. We're still stuck behind Gasly. Um, I could box for softs, but it's just not worth it. Uh, Vesti, definitely going to hold position. What are my tyres like against everyone else? Worse than Ocon's. Better than Leclerc's. Better than Verstappen's, but, you know, Verstappen, <laughs> Verstappen's got, you know, a Red Bull. This could be a very quick one lap safety car. Need to get as much battery in as we can. Can't believe I'm still stuck behind Gasly. Hopefully he'll pit. Hopefully he'll take this opportunity to dive in and get some new tyres. Get him out of my way. The Claire pits. The Snappen pits. Russell pits. If Hamilton was still out, he'd be pitting, but <laughs> he's gone. Gasly pits. Look at all these cars getting out of the way for us. We're going to jump all of them. We're fourth and sixth. And, more importantly, we're going to have a buffer of four cars between us and, uh, and Leclerc. It's got to have gone to softs. Yeah, the Claire's on softs. So I'm guessing everyone else will be as well. Soft. 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 Oh, now. Very interesting for the closing stages of the Grand Prix. Um, could we possibly get on the podium? There's no way in the hell that we are going to have the pace to uh, challenge Sainz or Perez. They've got better tyres than us, and more importantly, better drivers, much better cars. Uh, <laughs> but we can try and get Felipe past Ricardo. He's got the tyres to do that. And Vesti, if he's lucky, might be able to squeeze a move on Ocon. Or at least distract him long enough for Felipe to come through. It'd be the perfect way to end the season for Vesti to get a podium. It really would. He's done some great work for us. He just hasn't had the pace, but he's done some great work for us this season. And this would be an amazing end to the season for him. It's already going to be his best finish. by a country mile. Give me another lap. Another lap behind the safety car. Get those batteries fully charged. Yes, get 
another lap. Good, good, good. Good. Love to hear that message. I'm dense. <laughs> okay. I think we have to go really aggressive off the start when we get to uh, the first DRS straight on, on the first lap of the restart. I think we have to go aggressive like we did on the last restart because we actually made up positions doing that. I think we've got to go for that again. You can stop lifting coast. Yeah, copy. We think we can lean on the tyres more. Yeah, I got it. So there is no overtaking until the control line, and there'll be two laps with no DRS. Yeah, got it. So we just need to push now. Got it. We won't get any overtaking done into turn five. Never seemed to on the first lap. Everyone kind of just does this weird concertina breaking. But now... Use energy if you need it, use energy. Okay. Now we can attack. Clean air, getting clean air. Come on. Ah, neither driver made the move. This is good, come on. I can't keep this up with Vesti. His tyres can't last at this level of push. So we're happy to let these tyres cool a bit. Yeah, copy. Rears are hot. Copy. Felipe, I can. Oh, well, there he goes. He's made the move already. That was brave. And it pays off. We've done, good man, good lad. This is good, come on. This is not the corner. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained This the race is our position. chance. This is our only chance to get ahead of Ocon.
and we just don't have the straight line speed without the DRS. There's Felipe. Drop back a bit. See how I can break away from Ricardo. Not quite. You can use energy. Go on, bestie. Ocon gives us the DRS. Thank you, Ocon. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. We're on the podium. We're on the podium. <laughs> Can I get away? Happy to push. I've got to push just to give a gap for Felipe to do the same. Five more laps. Five more laps. Please don't get the RS. No, he didn't, but he will on this next straight. Oh, he did. He did get the RS. How? He was never inside a second. <sighs> That's so annoying. Energy if you need it. Love it. Get back up. Don't let him through, don't let him through. Nice block, very nice block. We've dropped Ricardo, he's not come with us, that is excellent news. We just need to charge up. Four more laps, four more laps. That was deliberate to let him through so that we can get the DRS on him on the next straight. That's a good overtake from Alpine. knowing when to break and when not to. 
Felipe is definitely faster. I need to get Felipe in front, but I don't want to tell Vesti to pull over because he's going to lose so much time. Three more laps, three more laps. Energy's good. Yeah, love it. Doing a good job, keep pushing. Oh, this is nerve wracking. had to make that decision and I hated having to make that decision Vesti doesn't deserve to be done like that but he just doesn't have enough pace to challenge Ocon Use energy if you need. Felipe does that's just the harsh reality unfortunately I pushed the tyres hard in this stint Push more. Okay. And I've inadvertently brought Ricardo straight back into it by again making Vesti lose a huge chunk of time. Down there. Copy. This is it, this is my uh, all or nothing. It's time to uh, shit or get off the pot, as they say. Someone spawn. It's behind us. It's Alonso. Single yellow. Yeah, probably. No, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Come on. Not like this. Not like this. God damn it. Oh, son of a bitch. So let's check a <sighs> I can't believe I'm disappointed about finishing fourth and fifth. <laughs> I would definitely have accepted fourth and fifth at the start. Yes, Farah, absolutely I would. What a way to finish the season. I feel so sorry for Vesti for pushing him over. I was sure that Drogovic would be able to get Ocon. If I'd known that he wouldn't, I would have 
never have made that switch. I will let Vesti take fourth. What an incredible outcome for Aston Martin's driver. But I'm pretty sure that means we just jumped LP. Um, Alpha Tauri in the championship. Today, I think Aston we just got Martin six. Demonstrated that they can go very far indeed. You can see that the team runs like a well-oiled machine. Everything was precise and on point this weekend. After the race, they sit in seventh place in the constructor standings. And that's it for this season of Formula One. The teams will be working hard in the break, gearing up for another year of thrilling F1 action. <sighs> what a final result. Up eight places for Felipe, up six for Freddy. And it would have been seven each if I hadn't swapped them with two laps to go. Hmm. Max dropping to 10th in the end. That has uh, given Ferrari the constructors, I'm sure of that. Let's take a look at the Drivers' Championship. There is your Drivers' Champion this year. It is Charles Leclerc. He only had the seven wins. He had less wins than Max, but he was so much more consistent. Max just fell apart in the end of the season there. Couldn't handle the pressure. And uh, as a result, finishes 23 points behind his rival. Almost a full win. Uh, Freddy gets onto the front page. He gets up to 13th with that result. That is awesome. Uh, let's take a look at the Constructors' Championship. Did we get sixth? No, we missed out by just a few points. Ah, oh, that's so close. That podium would have been worth an extra... Uh, how many extra points have we got that? Would have been worth an extra three points. It wouldn't have been enough, but it would have been nice. <laughs> Would have been a hell of a way to finish the season. But, I mean, what can you say? I mean, 69 points. Nice. <laughs> Gotta say nice, it's 69. Um, so, so close to actually catching and passing Alpha Tower in the end. We absolutely blitzed Haas and, Mc and McLaren in the end. I can't believe we got that many points. I really can't. We've, we had some fantastic results. That's right up there. I mean, we got the podium at Singapore, but... I don't know, is this more of an accomplishment? Fourth and fifth? Two cars? You know, back to back? In the top half? No, the podium is more important, but it's close. It's very close. A development point for Freddy. No development point for Felipe. Uh, but they will earn another point each, I think, before the end of the season. Or before the end of the calendar year. Uh, exceptional race for Freddy. He was phenomenal. 10 successful overtakes. 13 successful defences. 15 failed uh, in the overtakes. And 15 failed defences. Uh, Felipe. 10 successful overtakes. 11 successful defences. 19 failed overtakes. Including that last lap. And uh, one failed defence. We achieved our objectives for the uh, guarantees quite comfortably in the end and we made more money that we cannot spend right let's get down to closing out the season uh, we'll get to December 31st and then that will be the end of this season the end of this series uh, well I would say this series uh, the end of uh, season one of this series and uh, the end of our challenge mode for the week We'll be back on Tuesday with the start of Season 2. And I'm going to start that one at 9 o'clock in the evening, not 10. Start an hour earlier than normal because we're going to have all that pre-season stuff to go through. So it's going to be a long one on Tuesday. Uh, so let's crack on first of all with this. Uh, we did actually get a point uh, for Felipe. I saw that in the background. Uh, Freddy gets nice breaking. Uh, still needs some work, but he's getting really close now to uh, leveling out and becoming a more rounded you know, driver in his pace settings. Uh, Felipe is starting to reach that upper echelon of braking. 
that's really nice to see uh, do we have any staff points uh, Andrew Green will get one next week so hopefully he'll get that in time for the next research project that's going to be really close uh, Alessandro is two weeks away uh, long way off for Chris Cronin and Ben is even further away so no points there uh, our pit crew is about to take a nosedive as they go on their winter break uh, so yeah not too bad we're going to go back onto tyre changes because that's what we want to focus on at the start of next season and I'll forget to do it if we don't do it now uh, in terms of facilities uh, the refurb for the wind tunnel is going through uh, factory is going to need a refurb hopefully we can get that refurbed before the season ends before the calendar year ends CFD simulator is fine suspension simulator again I'm hoping we can get that started uh, in in January uh, same with the car park test center they're going to need refurbs uh, I've got two available upgrades next year and uh, I don't know where to put them uh, one of them's got to be on the wind tunnel that's only a level one so we have to upgrade the wind tunnel next year and I don't know what to do with the other one we'll hang on to that one for a while but it may well be the car park test center we'll see uh, staff facilities team hub is fine scouting department's fine uh, race sim is fine for now and that's probably going to break sometime in January uh, operations facilities they're all getting upgrades they're all fine so uh, let's go to our inbox rising through the ranks on behalf of the board I want to wish you an, an enthusiastic congratulations for your recent constructors finish it is wonderful to see Aston Martin rising up through the ranks needless to say this has given us a great boost in confidence regarding your abilities as team principal we are happy to have you on board let's hope that we can maintain this upward trajectory next season yes i agree with that message uh, we completely exceeded expectations my own included there is the season wrap up you see our our champion charles leclerc ferrari winning the constructors championship uh, by 16 points from red bull uh, max just killing red bull in the end just uh, throwing away uh, their chance to win the constructors and throwing away his own chance at winning the drivers with just a string of inconsistent results uh, in the closing part of the season uh, car part development is now locked so we can't make any brand new parts this season uh, not that we need to uh, and we have a board review in seven days so let's advance some time All right, there is the chassis. So we've got uh, one part left that we can research. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get that point in for Chris Cronin. Not Chris, uh, Andrew Green. Yeah, you need another week. Uh, I could hold off, but I don't wanna just take the risk on that. I'd rather just get the part. Well, let's have a look. Let's see how long it would take and whether we can delay it by a few days. So let's go research. Uh, so it's either going to be suspension or a second side pods. Uh, let's have a look at our car. See exactly where it's weakest. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the engine cooling that's going to need the, uh, the work. Uh, engine cooling is 19th. Brake cooling is 9th. Suspension will give us a nice little bit of a, a boost to cornering and... Uh, our speed maybe and definitely to our brake cooling not a huge boost uh, the side parts will probably give us a bigger speed boost uh, by reducing drag uh, and will definitely give us a much bigger boost to engine cooling so yeah it's going to be side pods uh, so let's go ahead and start scouting out that research uh, so we've got one hour of MAUs and 20 wind tunnel hours left to spend uh, let's see that is going to take 56 days let's add in some more engineers okay so that is the best I can't delay this 
I'm going to have to take some performance out of this. Uh, definitely need to work on drag reduction. I need to work on the uh, engine cooling. So let's take it out of the airflow. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's fairly well balanced. I wonder if I just take a little bit out of engine cooling and yeah, I'm more comfortable with that, I think. So there we go. That is the final research project of the season. Let's get that underway. Here's our end of season board review. Our target position was 8th, we finished in 7th, and we were just a few points off 6th. We scored, um, you know, 8 you know, uh, out of 11 races towards our long-term objective in just the first season, which is incredible. It really is. I'm so amazed by that. Um, best driver position was uh, Felipe Drogovic in 11th. Our team rating has not improved bit disappointed by that we do get a cash bonus which means we've got 41.9 million that we just can't do anything with oh that's crazy uh we've got some scouting results back uh, let's have a look at roman stanek's profile uh oh yeah he needs a lot of work a lot more work than i'm prepared to put in uh so yeah we'll ignore him uh, Zane Maloney. Oh, look at his braking. His braking's appalling. It would take two seasons just to get his braking up to something where we can use it. Yeah. We'll give him another year in, in the wilderness. Uh, let the AI boost him faster than we could by not really running him in the car. Uh, and Isaac Hajar, he's two seasons away yet. We can't sign him next year, but we can sign him the year after that. Uh, and I know his stats are going to go up quite quickly. Uh, he is a very exciting prospect. I think he might be my reserve driver at the end of next season. Uh, we will see how he develops over the course of next year. Uh, pit crew performance has taken the nosedive as expected. Tire changes have dropped by 11 points. Front and rear jacks by 10. Pit crews. Uh, wing adjustments have gone down by 9. And we've lost car release by 9 as well. So that's not great. Uh, regulation changes for next year. We lose the fastest lap bonus point next season. And we go back to uh, uh, 90s. You know, uh, early to mid 90s point scoring where it's 10 points no wait was that late 90s i think that was late 90s maybe early 2000s where it's uh you know, no, yes it's, it's the 2000s um point scheme point scheme where it's top eight scores points and uh, very reduced point totals so it's going to be interesting to see how we do um can we get into the top eight next year not the top 10 and uh, points are going to be much, much tighter up and down across the board. It's going to be a real challenge, I think, to uh, to score a lot of points next year. All right, driver changes. Uh, our drivers are secured for the next four seasons after this one. And our staffing, Andrew Green's contract runs out next year and we can then say goodbye to him at the end of next season uh, unfortunately we can't say the same for our two engineers we've got them for two and three more years yet uh, maybe we'll end up keeping them by that point but there are other engineers out there that I would like to replace them with Okay, our wind tunnel is refurbed and ready for next season. So that's good. Got that through in time to uh, build the brand new car. 
boardroom gets its upgrade. There we go. Weather center gets an upgrade. Uh, we've got unused scouts. That's fine. I haven't really got anything to scout just yet. Uh, we are going to go ahead and drop on another weather center upgrade. Seeing as we've got the cash and we can't do anything else with it, we might as well spend it on these upgrades. I don't need more than four scouts, I don't think. I can't do anything in there. We're not allowed. Um, so, yeah, pushing on. Nico Hulkenberg has two development points. Good for Nico. Don't care about Nico. What about our drivers? Uh, they're close. Well, at least Freddy's close to another point. Memorabilia room is done. Hospitality area is done. Why not? Just going to push our expenses up, but yeah, we've, we're going to end up with a load of spare cash anyway. And here we go. Final day of the year. So our research projects are through. Our underfloor is done. Our rear wing is done. And the side pod research is also done. That is all we can do to prepare our car for next season. So hopefully we've done enough to take a big step forward. And hopefully our drivers, by the time we hit tarmac in Bahrain, will have earned another few points uh, that we can add to their, uh, their braking as well. So... This is where we're going to end it. It's been a fantastic season. Uh, I've uh, had some real highs, some real lows uh, in this season. You know, there's some of those early races were brutal. Bahrain, Jeddah in particular were brutal, brutal races. Uh, we had some wonderful little uh, jumps in performance. Um, and a lot of luck in some cases with some safety cars. We had the dizzying highs of Singapore and Abu Dhabi, um, where we had a podium in Singapore, fourth and fifth here. We had points in Monza. Uh, we had a good recovery in Brazil after a disaster uh, of a race. Suzuka was another race where we kind of showed some potential for, for you know a good strong finish. Kota was a great run for us as well. We got points in Kota. Yeah, we had a really strong second half of the season and I'm really hoping that we can carry that form into the next season uh, and we will find out what is going to change next season on Tuesday. Uh, meanwhile, touch wood, we'll be back tomorrow night for the next episode, the next instalment of our Williams career, which will be Silverstone. We'll be racing at our home race there. Uh, so until then, thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob, and I'll be back with some more F1 Manager very soon. <laughs>